Oh, well, congratulations to Lance. Great, isn't it? Now, in tomorrow's programme, we'll announce the regional winner of our sports team of the year. Now, some things about Christmas never change. The nativity, carols, even the Queen's speech. Well, she changes the words <laughs> most years, but it. it's there every year. <laughs> but other bits have changed out of all recognition. Opening a Christmas stocking 50 years ago would have been quite a shock for today's generation. No computer games or mobile phones. And just to prove the point, a new exhibition has opened in Norwich, which is all about Christmas past. Now, how are you getting on with your Christmas preparations? If you're getting a little bit stressed, then I've got a treat for you. In there. In the Forum in Norwich, there is a very nostalgic film show all about Christmas past. It's part of a digital heritage project, putting old film in front of new audiences. This is the Smurden family in Clacton in 1939. A modest tree, paper chains draped on the blackout panels. It was a time of great uncertainty, but the Smurdens seem determined to enjoy themselves. In 1944, American airmen at Watton in Norfolk gave orphaned children who'd been evacuated to nearby Euston Hall a day to remember. There was great food, Father Christmas, a singing cowboy, and for one little girl, it was all a bit too much. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. The Hammond family in Frinton-on-Sea made this brilliant little film on Christmas Day 1961. Joan was the hostess, Christmas dinner was prepared from scratch, no microwaves back then, and the Queen's speech was a must. Fifty years on, the film brings back many happy memories. We always had our lunch and got through so that we were sitting down and having our coffee after lunch when we were able to look at the Queen. Today, it all seems so different. Everyone is in a rush, and everyone seems to be shopping. I mean, we had the simple things in life years ago. When I was a child, you had a stocking, and you had an orange and an apple in it, and you had one big present. I was the first one in the street to have a banana. We enjoyed Christmas much more, I think. Was it better 40 or 50 years ago? Were people happier or not? Let us know what you think. If you have any memories of Christmas past, then we'd really like to hear from you. It could be about a person or a place, about meeting Father Christmas perhaps, or about a present that you particularly cherished. As always, we'd really like to see your photographs or perhaps even your old cine film. You can contact me via Twitter or you can send an email to the usual address. Let's move very swiftly on to the weather. <laughs> well, it's turning much colder this week. We're going to get a blast of our...